This is our Star Awards, and you're all stars for being here this evening. We're going to make this a great evening. Our first category is Non-Clinical Worker of the Year. The winner of tonight's first award is Catherine Vasolo. Just really proud and happy to win it. I guess I work really hard and I'm really proud to work for East Lancashire Hospital, so I'm really pleased. And the winner of the Clinical Worker of the Year Award is Tracy Thompson. A real surprise, but it's absolutely lovely. I am the ward manager, but it's the team that I work for are just wonderful and they help me, you know, to do the great work that we do. Our third category is Unsung Hero Award. And the winner is Deborah Beresford. Ellie is our flagship for patient and public engagement. I'm delighted that Ellie has now been included in this award ceremony. And the winner is, for the first Tell Ellie Award, is Lynn Hackett. Lynn Hackett couldn't be with us tonight for family reasons, but I'm going to give the award to Lynn Barton and she will make sure that Lynn gets it the first possible opportunity. So let's all, in her absence, give her a big round of applause. This award is for an individual or a team that has made an outstanding contribution to the organisation. This team are fantastic. They change things every day and for the patients and that's what we're all here for. And I'm nearly crying. <laughs> yeah! I actually feel really privileged sitting amongst all of you. I think you're all very, very special people. And the winner is Cordia Equina Pathway Team. We're just doing our job, but to actually get some recognition for it is fantastic. I'm very proud. Um, it means a lot, not just to me, for, for the Estates team. All I can say really is uh, Estates is the best. Proud to be part of an ICU team. <laughs> we love like it. Family. Yeah, we're family. Our next award is for Rising Stars. I'm just amazed. I, I'm, I'm very humbled and very pleased and, and very privileged, really, I think. Ladies, gentlemen and colleagues, it's a great pleasure to present the award for the Royal Medal of the Year 2014. And the winner is... Is there a Lorraine Bentley in the room? I'm really pleased that I've won the award. It's a privilege, but without my team, I wouldn't have been here. I'm absolutely over the moon. It's, it's an honor to even have been nominated. So our final new award of the evening is the Volunteer Award. Receiving this on behalf of all the volunteers, past and present, including our longest volunteer, 53 years, so it's fantastic. Thank you very much. Non-clinical team of the year. And the winner is the Isolation Discharge Team. Thank you for this award. We are very proud of this achievement. It was very evident that all of the teams go above and beyond to make sure that every patient, every time, gets safe, personal and effective care. Tell us, how does it feel to win tonight? Fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah. yeah, well deserved though. I'm very proud of it. Could have awarded the awards ten times over and it would have been fair, it would have been right. Everybody who got shortlisted was rightfully shortlisted. You're sitting there and you just think, wow, wow. And a lot of people said, wow. Day in, day out, you make a difference to our patients. But not only do you make a difference to our patients, you make a difference to their families, to their friends and our communities. So each and every one of you is a star and each and every one of you deserves a round of applause this evening. So come on, let's do it. Yeah.